Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick introduction into suppliers. To begin, we'll click on Inventory, followed by Supplier Market. Here we'll be greeted with a list of some of the suppliers that are already in the system. Let's go ahead and search for the specific vendor we're looking for. We can see that in our search results, we are getting brands and products, but also vendors. So I'm going to click on vendor here. Now I'm connected with the specific vendor that I wanted, and I can see a list of available products. I'm going to go ahead and find some very specific products that I knew I wanted to place an order for. I can enter in my search SKU here and click search. And there's my item. If it's your first time using suppliers, when you click on the item, you may see something like this. Connect to supplier. This is how you can establish your connection with the vendor in question. I'm gonna go ahead and click that button now. Enter in my email address. And if I have my existing account number, I can enter it here as well. It is optional if you don't have it handy or you don't yet have one because you are connecting with this vendor for the first time. You can simply leave that blank and click Submit. You can see we've now got a connection pending notice up here and our request is being reviewed by the vendor. You can check on the progress of that by clicking View Request. Through the magic of editing, we've skipped ahead to the part where our connection has been approved with the vendor, so we're going to bring them back up again. Now when we click on that item we were looking for, we can see we now have the option to add to cart. We'll add it to cart now and begin building an order. But in the meantime, you can also see I have the option to import a product. So I'm going to import this product into my local system. And just like that, this particular product exists in my inventory. Let's go back to our supplier, Acme Bicycle Company. We're going to search for a couple more items to fill out our order. For each of these products, of course, you have the option to change the quantity you wish to order. In this case, I'm just ordering one of each for a very specific order. And you've noticed I've also imported each of these items into my local inventory. If I go check my inventory now, do an item search, you can see each of those items exists here in my inventory now. And if I click on them, They've been imported with all of the details from the image on down to the SKUs, UPCs, the brand, default price and cost. Everything's already been filled out, including the vendor and vendor ID. And that is true of each of these other items that I added as well. We want to check on the status of our order, we can return to the supplier marketplace. And we can click on orders up here in the upper right. We can see that our order with the Acme Bicycle Company, the status has been advanced to order processing. You can see the quantity of items on that order and the subtotal. And this lets us know that Acme Bicycle Company is in the process of fulfilling our order. We don't submit the order right away. When I pop back out here to the supplier market, I can see I've got items in my cart. I'll click on the cart now, we can see a summary of the order that I've placed, and I'm going to click place order to send that off to the vendor. I can see that the order has been sent to the supplier. They are reviewing the order and preparing for shipment. Once your order has been placed with your vendor, uh, once again through the magic of editing, we've skipped ahead to where that order has been processed. If you want to check on its progress, you can click on Supplier Market. 
click on orders. And we'll find the order that we just placed together. You can see here we now have a tab called shipments. If I click on that tab, we can see that the order has been shipped in two separate shipments, which may happen from time to time, depending on the logistics of the vendor you've ordered from. We can see that in shipment one, we are expecting just the helmet. And in shipment two, we are expecting the other four items that we ordered. And if I want, I can click on inventory and then purchase orders. And I can see that the suppliers module has automatically generated these purchase orders in my system. As predicted, one with just the helmet in it. And one with the other four items that we ordered. Now we just sit back and wait for the shipment to arrive and then receive and complete these purchase orders as normal. That concludes this video, but be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.